The Miami Marlins hosting the Texas Rangers, and the Rangers are plus 115 on the money line. The Marlins are minus 135. The over-under is seven runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Marlins laying a run and a half are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Neither Otto or Rogers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. The Rangers are 78 and 61 on the run line. They are 31 and 39 on the road. They're 2 and 8 in their last 10, and they're on a one game winning streak. The Marlins are 64 and 75 on the run line. They're on a two game losing streak. They're 2 and 8 in their last 10, and 27 and 40 at home this year. Head to head, the road team is 7 and 3 in their last 10. The Marlins are 6 and 4 in their last 10. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 7 and 3. The over 7 is 7, 2, and 1. The underdog getting a run and a half is 8 and 2. There have been two one run games in their last 10 meetings, and the Rangers hit left handed uh, pitchers for an average of 249. If we want to get into some individual stats, we've got some time. The over is 4 0 in the Rangers' last four interleague games versus a team with a losing record. The under is 5 0 in the Rangers' last five road games. The under is 7 0 in the last in the Rangers' last seven. Seven road games with a total set of seven and eight and a half. The Rangers are 0-4 in their last four games during the game one of a series, and the Rangers are 0-6 in the last six versus a team with a losing record. And then we'll go over to the Marlins. The over is 4-0 in the Marlins' last four overall. The under is 3-0 and 3-0 and 1 in Rogers' last four starts when the opponents allow two runs or less in the previous game. The under is 4-0 in Marlins' last four Monday games. The under is 5-0-1 in Rogers' last interleague starts, and the over is 4-0 in the Marlins' last four on grass. I'm going to take the Marlins with the money line, the Rangers with the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.